Welcome to Half Moon Key Carnival Corporation's private island in the Bahamas. This island has been rated one of the best private islands in the world, so you can't miss the chance to visit here. Today I'm going to be giving you an island walkthrough tour and give you some important information that you need to know when visiting. This port is a tender port, which means that you can't just get off the boat and walk onto the island. You have to take about a 15 minute boat ride to the island. They come about every 15 minutes, so it's pretty fast. Our ship had a bit of trouble and couldn't drop the anchor down, so it ate up a bit of our time on the island, and I hear that's a common thing to happen. And sometimes the ships even have to skip the island altogether, so I'm glad that wasn't our case. Once arriving, you'll come to the plaza where you can find the information desk, shopping, and a bar. Some shops only take cash or card, but some will also allow you to use your ship card information. There were lots of souvenirs to choose from among the many stores that they had here. There's also a water sports center where you can rent beach items like snorkel gear, kayaks, water bikes for an additional cost. Once you make your way to the beach, you can grab any of the chairs you see. You must bring your own towel from the ship though. If you want to be away from the crowds, I would suggest to walk a little bit further down the beach. There are plenty of chairs to choose from. You can also rent these clam shells like I did if you want some shade. They're pretty cheap, maybe like $30 or $40 for the day. You can also rent these cabanas that hold four people and villas that hold eight people. These are both an additional cost. They're quite pricey, but if you have a large group and split it up, um, it may be worth it for you. They come with air conditioner, a fridge with snacks, drinks, and a shower and other amenities. You can also hire a butler in addition to the cost of the cabanas. There's also this private oasis that can host 12 people. It includes a hot tub, full bar, dining area, changing rooms, a butler, a lifeguard. There's even a slide that goes down into the water. It's all behind this privacy gate so you won't be disturbed by the people. Definitely book it early because I'm sure it sells out fast. Now the beach was unreal. I'm well traveled and I've been to many great beaches. This one has to be the clearest water I've seen at any beach. I can see why it's rated one of the best in the world. The sand was very fine and white with no rocks or shells to hurt your feet. It was also so easy to get in the water without a major drop in. I didn't see any fish around the main beach, but they do have a designated snorkel spot on the island by the information desk. I was too busy enjoying the main part of the beach and couldn't make my way over to the snorkeling side, but they did host some other snorkel activities. Um, that you can book at additional cost as an excursion. They also had some other beach activities like yoga and other sports that you can partake in. You can bring your own floats, but I saw these water cabanas already out in the water. I'm not sure if these were rented by someone, but closer to the end of our time on the island, they became more deserted. Like, no, they left their cabana. So I had to hop on one and see how it was, and it was awesome. Also, someone left trash behind. What a shame. It seems like most people came for the beach, but there are some excursions to book while you're here on the island, like snorkeling, horseback riding, a glass bottom boat. In my opinion, I would just skip those unless you've been to this beach before. And I would spend all your time on the beach because it's that beautiful. There are several bars on the island, but the most notable is this massive pirate ship in the middle of the beach. They had fun music playing all day. For the bars, you cannot use your drink package to purchase drinks at the bars, but you can charge them to your stateroom. I think Holland America offers an extra drink package for the island. I don't believe Carnival has that, so um, keep a lookout for that if you are interested. There's also this I Wish I Could Stay Here Forever bar, which has an amazing view of the beach. Wow, I should have stayed longer at that bar. Next to it is this lobster shack. If you want to pay for lobster rolls and seafood chowder, that's an additional cost, but the island offers a free barbecue buffet that had stuff like hamburgers, hot dogs, mahi-mahi, uh, chicken, and uh, as well as sides like salads, fruit, desserts, and ice cream. There were so many picnic tables around to sit in, and the buffet lines were pretty fast because they had a couple of them going. There's also a bar near the buffet and some chickens. Some other amenities around the island include a tram that can take you from the information center to the buffet if you're not able to walk very far, lots of walking trails, a basketball court, a small church for weddings, a massage cabana, a kid's playground, and water splash pad. So I think that'll do it for the tour of Half Moon Key. What an amazing island. I hope you enjoy your time there when you visit next.